While we were in the department, we wanted to learn more about EMT classes offered at MSU as well. We caught up with Tracy Bird to learn more. The life of an emergency medical technician is exciting as well as fulfilling. EMT coordinator Tracy Bird explains the process that Murray State students must go through to obtain this education. Um, as the EMT program coordinator, I'm in charge of the emergency medical training class that we hold here on campus and we also have one at our um, off campus at Fort Campbell. Um, we are in charge of teaching a seven credit hour course that covers all of the national Department of Transportation regulations for becoming an emergency medical technician in the state of Kentucky. There are many important skills to be mastered in this profession. We've got about four skills running right now, um, just some basic skills. Um, we've got a few students who are taking vital signs, your regular pulse, your respirations, your blood pressures, everything that people have had done when they go to a regular doctor's office visit. And then we've got uh, some spinal mobilization that would happen to anybody who suffered a trauma, a car accident, a significant fall. So we've got some students practicing that. Uh, and then a little bit more advanced, we're doing some airway management for those individuals who aren't breathing on their own. So we have some students who are working on that. And then even further, we've got students who are working on advanced airway placement where they are innovating, it's called blind innovation, and they're innovating a patient so that they can absolutely provide as much oxygen as possible whenever they give a breath. Tracy's course can benefit safety majors when they learn general terms, lingo, and themes. This will follow them throughout their Murray State careers and into their professions. Well, as far as the safety students, um, in today's world, our safety professionals wear a number of hats, whether they actually are your first aid individuals or they're simply the people who oversee that program or the emergency response teams for their companies. Um, so they take that information with them as, as well as the skills and it even may go a step further. Sometimes they're human resources and have to deal with workman's comp. So just knowing the vocabulary and the lingo, we kind of feel that this class makes our safety students much more well-rounded as a professional when they step away. A lot goes into training for an EMT position and Tracy explained a few significant points that make her program stand out in the safety department. We teach every skill that you would need to basically work at an ambulance service, um, just short of actually driving an ambulance. Um, but every pre-hospital skill that you could do either with medical direction or without medical direction. For incoming students and young safety majors, choosing the right path can be difficult. Luckily, Tracy was able to give us some advice to help students understand their options. We have, of course, two tracks in our particular degree. You can do a, a, a general safety, safety generalist, I guess you could say, and then we have an industrial hygienist track. And when students come to me and they're not really sure which path they would like to take. I always try to encourage them to try a little of both um, because the classes that they take trying to make that decision are still going to count towards their degree and give them a good solid background in whichever pathway they choose when they you know come to choosing their degree. Um, my class it's very medical and some people just know in advance that's not something that they are comfortable doing and other people are like mm, not sure maybe I maybe I can handle that. Um, so that's very individual specific.